welcome to Rachel Academy, your business and lifestyle applicator, helping you launch, run and grow a highly successful business. Join me as I teach you and show you how you can build a highly successful business this year and take your business and brand to the next level. guys thank you for joining me on Rachel Academy today your business and lifestyle applicator helping you launch run and grow yourself a highly successful business who I'm out of breath just to get this camera ready for you guys was an absolute nightmare got the battery put it inside the camera then the battery decided to fall behind the, the radiator the radiator is really close to the wall and I was thinking oh my gosh I haven't charged the other battery so I'm like trying to get this battery out of the back of the radiator without actually breaking the radiator and having water everywhere. So I'm literally out of breath because I said to myself, I am going to try and do a lot of videos for you guys today and it's absolutely been a nightmare. So I'm here, I'm here. Whew. So let's get started. We're going to talk about how to be more productive on your side hustle. Now, if you've started a side hustle or you are doing a side hustle right now, you've probably been doing it part time. So you don't have that much um, time to give to it, like a full time hours. Maybe you're working full time and you decided to do your side hustle because it's a side hustle part time. But you want to make it really effective. You want to make sure that it's really working for you. And you want to make sure that you're producing um, enough um, profit from your side hustle because that's why we started it in the first place. You know, we want to bring extra income into the home or maybe it's something that you love, you're doing your spare time like a hobby, uh, hobby, like a hobby and you want to uh, turn it into something that you can hopefully do full time. So I want to share with you how to be more productive on your side hustle and invest in the right areas and the things to make sure that your outcome for your side hustle is on the direction that you are hoping and wanting it to go. The first thing I have done, and because even though I'm running Retro Academy, I run six other um, online platforms that is associated with Rachel Academy in education, in um, career management, in um, business consulting, and in clothing and homeware. And it's literally all about things I enjoy doing. I love fashion, I love interior design, and while as well as I'm building a business and I've got a, a qualification degree in it, I wanted to work in those industries as well. So what's helped me is what I'm going to share with you. Hopefully will help you and um, be more productive in your side hustle. So the first one is plan your day. Now you can plan your day the night before, before obviously the next day, or you can plan your day in the morning. What I find has been effective and worked for me is planning my day the night before. So what I do is I have a journal. I like writing things down. I really don't put that on my computer or my apps or anything like that on my iPhone, I like to write it down because I feel when I write it down, it's more personal to me and you know, my subconscious is taking it in as well and that gives me the ability to wake up in the morning and give me the strength to uh, manage it. So I jot things down with a planner. So I've got a planner down and I write down what I'm gonna do for that day. Now I can also write what I'll do for that week, but when you plan anything down, it literally sending um, signals and waves to your um, brain, to your subconscious that this is something that's really important to you, especially when you're doing a side hustle, again, you don't have that uh, much time to give to it, but it's still important to you because it's something that you hopefully want to make full time and hopefully maybe you'll be able to leave your um, 9 to 5 job and do it on a, a regular basis. So it's important to you. So when you um, take time to plan out your day and write down the things that you can um, do in your side hustle that will be more effective for you. This will help you be more productive in your side hustle. Dress for work or what they say, dress for success. This will help you be more productive in your side hustle because your side hustle, you're doing it from the comfort of your home. You know, you're not going to um, work per se when you do your 9 to 5 job, but you still want to bring that same confidence, bring that same energy into your side hustle. If you bring the kind of, you know, that kind of low energy into your side hustle, you're going to tend to find that you probably won't spend enough time doing anything in your side hustle. You're probably sitting down watching TV or going out with friends 
and your side hustle will be put to the back burner. But if you're really passionate about making this side hustle work, being productive in it is going to obviously help you. So dress for work. Every time you give that time you give to your side hustle, I think that makes sense, every time you give that time. Well, you know what I'm saying. When the time that you've allocated for your side hustle, well, dress for it. Make sure that you are, you know, out of your pajamas, with your night outfit, your night wherever you wear, and put some, you know, dress clothes on. You know, it doesn't have to be a suit and a tie, or you know, a skirt and a blouse, but something that your brain is telling you, you know, that you know, I'm dressed for work, I'm ready. You're gonna find that you have a different vibration of energy. And your side hustle will start being more productive when you really actually find that you've had a great day and things have worked out for you because you dressed for work, you dressed for success. Set boundaries. Setting boundaries is also great because you'd be working from home, so you might have your bedroom office or a space, you might not even have an office, but a space in your home that you use for an office. When you set boundaries, so you're saying, you know what, children, you can't come into this space that I have, or you know what, I'm going to set up lunch, I'm going to, every, every 12 o'clock or every 1 o'clock in the afternoon, that's when I'm going to have work. So set boundaries like what you probably would do if you were working your 9 to 5 job. So you know, you get there in the morning, you put your computer on, you know what your schedule is, you know what time you take a break, you know what time you take lunch. Try and add that to your um, side hustle. If you add this to your side hustle, it will help you have a structure that you're going to invest into it because every minute, second, hours, any time you have and you're giving to your side hustle is so important because you know the next day that you're not going to be able to do that because you might be going to work or vice versa. So you want to make sure every time that you give to it is productive. So setting boundaries will help you have a structure in place help you plan your day and follow through on that day, help you, you know, build a, a good habit so your side hustle can be successful and eventually so you can quit your nine to five and work on your side hustle full time. And the last thing I can give to you that's helped me through this as well, stick to all those three things above. Stick to planning your day, stick to dressing for work or dressing for success and setting boundaries. It's all about um, building a habit building habits it takes they say it takes 30 days to build a good habit so if you can do this for 30 days i'm sure and i guarantee you that your side hustle will be more productive and you literally will start seeing some results which is going to make you really happy obviously you know in your business in your personal life as well guys thank you so much for joining me on rachel academy um leave some comments below this video let me um, know you know what's helped you kind of manage your time manage your schedule and you know all the things that you know we need to do to be productive as business owners and entrepreneurs and if you want me to do any other videos or anything that you're struggling with you know more than welcome to leave a comment below this video as well subscribe to my channel and get background information on tips and advice to help you launch run and grow yourself a highly successful business for all my new subscribers, I'll be giving free ebooks once every week to help you build your business as well. I'll see you same time, same place next week, lovelies. Take care. Bye-bye.